Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy LV, and I'm back with another reaction video. My bad for the few days off. I had to take my family on a vacation for a few days, but hey, we back. So, hey, today we got Sauce Walker. He talks about how he made more money than platinum selling artists, and he don't even have a platinum or a gold record. So, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the content. I'm the greatest. I'm the best ever. I'm really one of the best rappers in the well, let's world. Let's get you a rap battle or something, man. Or let's I get mean, you know, versus or something. I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Versus is like platinum records and shit. All right, let's get I'm some independent, so, you know what I'm saying? All my pla I'm still getting platinum records. I'm getting my money than platinum artists. I know I don't have a platinum record, though, to this day. Yeah. Really? No. You and definitely got gold. No. You don't have a gold record? I don't have a gold record. I don't have a platinum record. I have way more money than all the people that got platinum records. And you getting hundreds of thousands a month off your music? <clears throat> Compound interest. Damn. You want to add it up like simple math? Let's look at it like this. Uh, apartment. We talking about Miami. Let's talk about a Miami condo building, right? Yeah. Let's say each floor is an album. How many stories is usually in one of those buildings? Shit, a lot. It's not 50, 60. Okay, so let's say 50, 60 stories. So if we say 50, 60 stories, we would say mm, two artists on my record label. Let's put two of my artists' albums together. Let's get 26 of my albums that I have. Oh, I forgot. You, you got a lot going on. I get it. Got a lot going on. Twenty six of my albums. You do fifteen of one of my brother's albums, Sosa Man or somebody. One of my brother's albums. Fifteen albums. Each album is a floor. It's the building. Each album is a floor. So I added twenty seven floors, and then my brother added fifteen more floors. So now we have fifty some odd floors, right? Each song on that floor is a unit. So if this one song every thirty days makes me twenty five hundred, that's a twenty five hundred dollar door. That's room one one. That's room zero zero one. Then room zero zero two yeah. makes seventeen hundred, and that's only a two bedroom. This one is a three bedroom, but it's tweets are songs. Then I got another song over here. This song got XXX and Tyson on it. This song making me twenty five thousand dollars a month. That's the penthouse, but that's one floor. One album is one floor. Next album, next floor. Next album, next floor. Some floors got more out more songs on this album than the last album. This floor, we only got fifteen rooms. This floor, we got ten rooms. This floor, we got twenty five rooms. And some of the rooms are condom condominiums and penthouses. But I own this whole building God forever. Do you think I give a fuck about going platinum? Yeah, yeah. I I, I think that, that matters for like you know when people love to count the stats. At the end of the day, you know what I mean. You said some uh, like very you know shrewd in, in the conversation with, with Sharp is like, what are you doing it for? You know, and yeah, like you love music and everything, but what's it? Who cares about platinum versus having all this other product? It's at the end of the day, whether whether an artist drops one project every two years. They're expecting that they're gonna get paid for their work, and you're getting paid for your work. That's that's basically the fucking bottom line. Every month, they gotta wait two, three, four, five, or maybe yeah. never years to get paid for their work. I'm getting paid for my work. Yeah, they only get paid once the, the advance because we know them back ends. They they gonna put they you. They never recoup it. Yeah, that's the funny thing about most record deals. They put you in such a hole and then have recurring costs that never offset with how much your album does. It's in their best interest to keep you in the hole. You got the advance. I'm going to give you another advance. So now you're living out the advanced advance. Yep. And you only get more advances in your album to kind of good enough to get out the hole or almost to get out the hole. We say, oh, you're not going to get out the hole, but in the next two years you will. So we'll give you another million dollars because we we got it accumulated. Uh, how the money is going to pay us back in the 10 expand. I couldn't do that. Like you telling me I'm rapping. I'm making all these albums and everything and I don't get paid off for none of this. I just get an advance check. And only the thing y'all gonna do is hit me with videos, studio time, all this other stuff just to keep me in the hole, keep me owing y'all money. And I have to keep trying to make y'all this money back that y'all just gave me. But I'm not seeing no money off none of my streaming. Man, fuck that. Hey, like you said, man, listen, and I tried music and I spent a lot of money on making music and stuff. And you gotta stream, bro. You have to stream. And if all your money you make it off streaming and label taking it, then you ain't gonna make no money. You gonna be a you gonna be a, a, a rapper to just sit there and not making money. You only making money off advances. 
That's what we talked about earlier, 10X. In 10 years, I'll fuck out three years of millions on you because in 10 years, I'm going to make three times the money that I spent on you and my kids, 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 and my company. The compound interest is built up. I'm just building my own compound interest between me and my partners, me and my friends. Nigga, I got 50 niggas on the streets I fuck with all around the world. We all sign each other. We all do free features with each other. We all shoot videos with each other. We all drop it on YouTube. Now we YouTubers and streamers and iTunes. When we look at that Spotify check, I mean that Spotify number, that motherfucker say, like for one of my artists or something, 300,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, or 40, uh, 400,000, 500,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. Nigga, that's 28, 30 bands a month. That's 40 bands a month. Yeah. You know how many real rappers that got $3 million, I mean $3 million monthly Spotify listeners that don't make $40,000 a month? Yeah, usually don't. No matter what. We just saying no matter what. $40,000 a month times 10, that means you make $400,000 a year. It's a lot of people that go into debt, lose their cars, lose their houses over $400,000 of debt. Something that you would have been making every 10 every ten months off of your check that's coming in from distribution. That's why YouTubers, why do you think YouTubers and podcasters got more money than rappers? Yeah. Because they seeing their money at the end of every month. It's not no governing thing over YouTube that says, yeah, if you'd have a YouTube channel. They, uh, they've been trying to do the, the, the record label thing with like YouTubers now. Like They'll come to you and be like, hey, we know what your channel done did. Who's that we'll, stupid? We'll, we'll, we'll buy your back catalog. Like they came to Vlad and they came to me. They're like, we'll buy your back catalog for this amount. It looks good. Um, the, the funny thing, they'll even ask you for your stats. Like, hey, just send over everything so they know how much you earn now. They're like, all right, so let me do the calculation, blah, blah, blah. Let me 10x this. Let me do this. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm offered this. I earn, earn, earn this. Uh, we're going to put this promotion. We're going to cross collateralize. Hey, we're going to, we already kind of got this other deal in the back. We're going to license this there. We're going to have it there. So we're going to really make like 8x of what we gave you. And yeah, and then, yeah, it is what Why it is. Why would you do that? That would be I, a, I agree. I, it's it's, it's easier said than done with with content as a YouTuber because the music business is all built around that. Like people look at you like you didn't sign, yo. You turned down a bread. Like they're gonna look at you like you're fucking crazy because they're gonna be like, well, without that, you can't get this, this, and this. So you know, like I said, people get in the city's music industry to have a twenty thousand people in the crowd screaming their name just to be broke later on. Like, I'm just trying to say somebody that's not going to be mad if I say it. What about Lil Zane, man? <laughs> what, is the, what about Lil Lil Zane, man? Oh, man. You don't remember when Zane and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Cassidy, I can say Cassidy because I fuck with Cassidy, and Cassidy has found other ways to be that nigga still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cassidy is still that nigga right now through other ways, not off his platinum records. Yeah, that's the, that's the trash part about the business. When you got platinum records with R. Kelly and this person and that person and you then done. You want to meet me in my hotel? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Yeah. These people I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler, homie. You're supposed to make money forever off of that. Trinidad James right now. Trinidad James should still be like. Like he's still doing great things in the entertainment yeah, world. He should be popping space. Molly and sweating uh, all, the, all the, all the type checks of he getting. Money. Yeah, it yeah. was made off of the music that he gave to the world. The moment that it had, that moment, that is immortal. That's gonna make millions of dollars forever. It don't matter that it's ten years later. Some way, shape, or form, these songs exist all over these platforms. It's like it's, it's, this is you gotta think about this. If, if you love anime, then this is like Shadow Clone Jutsu of Naruto. Naruto has the ability in anime to. If anybody. Who know anime let me know what the fuck you talking about because i don't watch anime at all but hey i feel them on this a lot of these artists big artists man still should be out here making money but they not and they platinum they platinum artists which is crazy like how you got a platinum record and you don't make no money off that song put his fingers together and then make 45 replications of itself like 45 clones of itself when you make a song in an album that song in the album is cloned 50 times on 50 different platforms, that one song. So now you're talking about that neighborhood I'm talking about. I mean, the, the apartment building, I can say that those floors, that's my Apple building. Because all of those songs and those albums are properties at Apple with that building. I got a whole building with Spotify. I got a whole building with Pandora. I have a whole building with YouTube. They pay different taxes. They have different staff, different companies, different things, but they sell them my same product. Let's put it in layman's terms. 
You have Foot Locker. You have Champs. You have Athlete's Foot. And I don't know what else fucking shoe stores is in your city or wherever you're from. They all sell Nike. They all sell Adidas. If they don't have that contract with those major companies, it is their inspiring job. Like It's their goal to get a Nike contract. To get that, y'all. It's their goal to that, have Louis sense. Vuitton directly say, you know what? Even though Louis Vuitton doesn't do this, who does it? Like, I don't know. Balenciaga does. Uh, Gucci does it. Like, Balenciaga could put product in Gap, huh? Yeah, like, so I'm saying, certain company, like Louis doesn't do it. Yeah. But certain companies, if they feel that you're in the right area, your, your brand is respectable enough, you have a certain niche, certain clientele. We'll collaborate with you or we will allow you to buy our products at wholesale and sell them retail at your store. That's how sex exists. That's how Nordstrom exists. Yeah, like Neiman Marcus have, has like Montclair. Exactly. But Montclair has its own stores all around the world. You can go mm -hmm. to Las Vegas, go to Houston, Texas, you go to a lot of places and walk straight to Montclair and buy Montclair. Yeah. So I'm saying that to say the... The check from Saks Fifth Avenue that Montclair gets is not the same check that they get from Nordstrom. Nor is it the check that they get from Montclair.com, nor is it the check that Yeah. Reference. These are all different properties and sources of income that's coming from the same water bottle, though. We selling the same product. Yeah. I'm not selling a different product. It's the same product I'm selling. I'm just selling it in multiple different vendors, multiple different properties that exist in their own space in their own world and it is immortalized because it is digital jack-in-the-box closes walmart closes target closes starbucks closes it even there's a certain time at certain hotels where you can't go to the front desk and book a fucking room you can never not pull out your phone and listen to music you can never not pull out your phone and watch a movie you can never not pull out your phone and watch youtube streaming is the most powerful source source of reoccurring revenue in the world. I agree. It does not have to be replenished. It cannot run out. The only way to, for it to run out is to shut off the internet. It's to completely shut down the internet. If the internet does not shut down, if you do not shut down the cloud, if you do not shut down the, 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 uh, the waves, the, the, the 5G waves that's connecting the internet, yeah. I get what you're saying. Um, if if artists out there like that's why they said like you should own your shit, man, because you make money like four or five different ways off one song publishing, just regular streaming. You know what I'm saying? Um, licensing. You know what I'm saying? So YouTube. So it's a lot of ways you can make money off one song. That's why he's so relevant because he has artists under him and he's making money, recurring money off these songs, these albums, everybody releasing. So the man sounds like he got his head on his shoulder, man. I feel like him and Academics had a good interview. Um, they, he said a lot of point stuff. They be speaking facts through all the bullshit sometimes. They be speaking facts. But hey, what y'all need y'all do is like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel about the video below. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. Y'all turn me up so I can turn y'all up, man. I'm out.